Uh, can we uh, pick these off? Yeah, yeah like let's it. hope so. Yeah, 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 here. Yeah, got it. Getting the zealot. Okay. Here we can see crack for it. Any other zealot? You see that then? Did, do I first kill Barodos? Anything we should know? Uh, Apart from the fact he's going to kick our asses. Hold on one second. Well, it doesn't mean that there's not anything, but it doesn't say anything. Alright. Incoming then. Okay. Oh, he guess he summoned the group here. Oh, ow! Backyard. Uh, yeah, just a bit. Yeah, the rest of these rooms have... Oh, oh, back up, back up. That's weird. Okay, so they spawn a fight.
Yeah, see, so you can't lift this mob either. And it's back. Yeah. So good, you have to kill him twice. <laughs> It's not really hard to take hands that gets him away from the spawn again. There he goes. Okay, real quick, let me read this to you before we start this. Okay, it says here, uh, or it's fire, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, for the strategy, fire spawns adds every 25%, which must be dealt with. During the fight, you receive multiple texts about fire. When this occurs, a mob will spawn from one of the columns. Kill the mob that spawns from the column in the room ASAP, or they will unleash some serious damage on you. All right, okay. Once all four events occur, you will be fully weakened and will die. So I I guess we could outside, right? Yeah, then we got to take these out first, yeah? Yeah.
check around the back. Mm-hmm. That's not how it's marked. There's a glow thing over here. Did that take? Yep, I certainly did. Oh, so you don't need to kill him then. Uh, well, we, for the other one we might. So it's find a draconic text. It's guarded by a powerful spell. <laughs> We're better doing this from the front. I don't, I don't think it makes a difference. Right, just so we can see. Each one of these pillars will spawn somebody here. Yeah. yeah. Apparently it's gonna spawn they'll spawn ads at every twenty five percent. They come from one of these pillars. Right. So then we just need to burn down the the ad. Uh, <clears throat> they say use blues and greens to burn down, but whatever. Alright, okay. Ready? Yeah, let's do this thing. Set a, pet, set a pet on it. 25% will come quick. It's there. Okay, so there should be a net somewhere. That's on it. it. There it is. Yeah, it's dead. Now, is there a book here? There's an obelisk. Yeah, it says that's going to take you back. Oh, what the hell? It takes you back to the front. Did you just click it? Yes. Do we need to go back to the beginning? Well, yeah, because this is a dead end. But, uh, uh, okay, then. <laughs> I'm looking to see on the map where these books are at. That just doesn't matter. Impossible for for myself. What's that? It says something is impossible for me. Your roots. It's the same one. I, you know, I get. It's the same one I get squished by every time. The gorilla. Oh, is it the gorilla? Yeah, it's not wrong with the gorilla. Oh, right. Yeah,
Where are you? I'm killing these uh, golems. You can't joust. What's he on about? He's saying the joust to mark, so when he roots, basically he's a jouster. Okay, this is Frost. Let's see here, Frost. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to fight him. We need him to damage the pillars that are around him. So we need uh, to get him close to the so middle. So we got to pull him to the thing. Um, to each one of those four pillars around him. Right. Then hot, you also need to hotkey the massive deceleration of the things we just got. Uh, when Frost casts Pile Driver for the first time, use the globule against him. This makes the pillar attackable. So then burn down the pillar. Then beat on Frost again until you can interrupt Pile Driver again. This makes the second pillar attackable. So on and so forth. Alright. Sounds easy. Sounds easy. Go to this one. Are there any more in here? I don't see any. Oh, there's one back. So uh, a fragment. Get up these books. Master of Guard. You get the update. Yes. That may not be in the zone. Are we in the awakening? Uh, I don't think so. 
Oh, no, we're not. Okay, so that's not for this zone. Okay, so just kill this guy. But we do need to get him near a pillar, I guess. Yeah. Start with this one on the right, shall we? Sure, right here? Yeah. I'm coming. Alright. Okay, nearby pillars become unstable. I don't see... Oh, oh, I get it. Okay. I'm burning down the pillar. No, it's not getting pillar, can you? It, it's over here, it's not the one that he's standing next to. Oh, alright, okay. Let's die here for some reason. That one's dead. Uh, we got two pillars left. I'm trying to keep healing your pet. So we've got to retrieve the map now. Yeah, which would be... I guess we go back to the beginning. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna walk? So now there's gonna be an open hallway, apparently. Um, we're gonna walk through the schools in the middle of the hallway. We'll briefly turn you into an imp and make an extra caretaker spawn. The next thing you encounter is the Eternal Sentinel. Keep him near the gargoyles that are walking around. Whenever he charges, make sure he runs into a gargoyle. After he hits it two or three times, it should break, and he'll no longer be able to siphon health from it. Clear with mud? Where are you going? I'm it's still here. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I was reading. I'm <laughs> zoning now. Well, I take it we're going straight on. Mm-hmm. So did you get that? Uh, kind of. So the so next it turns thing. into an imp when you attack to try and make him run into one of the other imps. Oh, I think these things turn us into an imp. See those floating skulls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there's mobs in here. Good to know. I think these floating skulls turn you into an imp. Slimy name.
Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> Into these into these things, has he? These walking gargoyles. Yeah. Yeah, this one's like like if you re-examine this one, it says this once living gargoyle has been trampled. Yeah. So I'm guessing we've got to pull him across these walking mobs, otherwise they heal him. Like he takes health from them. See how those yellow lines are going to him? Yeah. So yeah, I guess we got to pull him. He's red. <laughs> well, I'll let you pull him. <laughs> level, uh, one, okay. level, level 102. You gotta be kidding me. We can do this. It's supposed to be a solo zone, right? Yeah. All right, you ready for this? I'm gonna try to pull him across. Try and pull, pull, pull him against this. What? What? what oh, I, ow! What happened there? This my, the gargoyle hit me. They knock you back against they get too close. See? All right. Okay. Right, I'm putting one to try and pull him then. Move pet. Burst the charge. Who's the charging? There he goes. Oh, he, he killed, killed two, two here. here. Yeah, he killed one here. Oh, what the hell? Get off! <laughs> I'm going in the right direction here because I'm running backwards. I don't know, I'm trying to catch up to you. It doesn't, I don't think it matters. Your pet's getting torn up though. Yeah. You're getting ready to charge. Healing. Get away! Get away! Oh, ow. Oh, me. Attack it. Attack it, pet. What are you doing? Stand up. Jesus. <laughs> You know, the, the stupid pet will go run and fight shit that I don't want it to, but when I want it to fight a name, it runs away. Oh, we got it. And no chest. Yeah, there is. What we want here. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, that was scary. Injured blood skeleton. Okay, this is the last name. These are going to attack us, are they? Okay, no, no, these will not. Okay, let's see here. The uh, continue east. The three inter draconians will give you hints. They say well, we were unable to contain the power of the pillars. They cannot be active for long. Should have known. Red camera's blue. And then it says pedestal. Let's get the statue on a pedestal. Um. Before fully clearing the room, play with pillars to get accustomed to how they function. In a nutshell, the first click makes the red beam appear, the second click makes the blue beam appear, and the third click resets the pillars. Near the center of the room are four pillars, two red, two blue. Get the statue to the center pedestal when you need to counter him. Whenever the statue is a red or a counter with a blue pillar. Whenever the statue has a blue aura up, counter it with a red pillar. When dragging him into the aura, make sure he remains there until the message states that his Sorelian aura dissipates. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that makes no sense, sense whatsoever. Okay, okay. let's go. Well, well, this, well, this thing in front of us now has got a blue aura. So does that mean we have to use the red pillar or something? Oh, he's there now. Forgotten statue. Okay, yeah, so let's kill this mob in front of us. Oh, and it summons. Okay, so these pillars, apparently you click them? Yeah, they're clickable. Yeah, so I guess he's going to get like an aura around him. I've never done this. So I guess he's going to get an aura around him when we click the pillar. See, oh, see how yeah, I clicked yeah, it? Yeah, he's going red, he's going red. So now you count. I clicked it again, it made it all go blue. Right. And I click it again, and it's off. Yeah. So what do we need to do with it? So apparently he's going to get an aura once we kill all the rest of the mobs in this room. He'll spawn. And then he'll get those auras and got to click these things. To hurt him, I guess? Yeah, you click the opposite of what he is. Right, so if he's got a blue aura, we click the red. Yeah. Can you? Uh. Something happened on the base of the thing. Where? The base of it's crackling. Oh, I'm ready to see. Maybe that's what they're saying, like, to get, the, get him up on this pedestal. Um, oh, there's a map piece right in front of him. Yeah, I can see it. So, do we try and get it? I'm gonna try to get it without touching. Don't touch the circle. Never mind. Oh, we got it. I got the map. All right. Try to kill us, guys. Last name. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. Whoa. He has a knockback. Yeah, I noticed. He's red. All right, pet attack. <laughs> oh. Got blue water. Are you near a thing? Yeah, I'm going. Quick, right one. I'm trying. Got it. Nice. No, I guess he has to damage. Are you stealing? Yes, it's, it's, we've got to turn this to red. There we go.
And this is a solo zone? What the hell are you solo there? Right, they're on red now, so he should take damage again. Oh, he's healing again. Yeah. Do we need to get him back up on this thing? Back up here, let's do this. We can pull back up on this pedestal. He's not on the pedestal. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. And to... Bring him back up here, Nick. Try Back off, pet. Back off. Okay, pet's back on again. I'm going down here. Watch out. Back up. Try Can't. I can't see you. Where are you? I'm dead. Great, so... Alright. Go, pet, go. Oh, I'm almost dead. I am dead. You gotta, as you kill everything in the zone first. There should be imps as well there, shouldn't there? No, well, there's other things there, but they don't add, I don't think. That was painful. We killed everything. Yeah. We were so close to killing that mob. Yeah, I know. I think... I think he might have turned red, you know. I think his aura would turn, would turn red and we needed to turn it to blue. It was just awkward seeing it. <laughs> 